you go to there and then yeah. bring the gun, gun up much later. Yeah. I've done quite a few title sequences. I think the first one I did was Goldeneye was a few years back. Action. The title sequence is like the main film. It has elements that everybody recognises. There are things like girls and guns that are in the title sequence that come from the very original designs of the title sequence. And I want to keep that heritage and iconography there. I try to make each one different to the last and have a different concept and with this one it's different because I wanted to get the feeling that the viewer is James Bond so everything is kind of the point of view of Bond. We talked about him quite a lot and I've tried to get him to put and he's done it I think very very successfully put as much imagery from the film as into the into the credits as possible but he has his own set of skills which are fantastic and uh, you know he needs to be given the freedom to explore those things. James Bond, we think, is shot and dead, and this is kind of like what's going on in his mind, and you're seeing it through his eyes. It's a bit like an out-of-body experience. Sometimes people think your life flashes in front of your eyes, uh, and I know that in near-death experiences, people say sometimes they see tunnels, and the tunnel is also an element in the main film. And so it's a mixture of all those things, plus a few themes from the script to make it a kind of more psychological feel to the title sequence this time. Daniel just nailed it straight off. He's such a professional and he knows how Bond would do it you know, more than I do, so I just give him the chance to pull some shapes and to look cool in front of the camera, and he did look really fantastic. Obviously, slightly strangely, you know, I'm trying to make this be a point of view, so it's like the viewer is James Bond looking at his life but then I've got Daniel Craig in the sequence and one of the ways I got round that is by creating a sequence which is a series of mirrors. So it's as if you've walked up to a mirror and you're seeing your own reflection, but it is actually Daniel Craig's reflection because that is you. And also with shadows and this feeling of out of bodiness so that it's as if you can uh, come away from your own body if you're dying or something and you see yourself. None of these things are very literal. It's a kind of surreal reinterpretation of all those elements put together just to, to be a little entertaining sequence that feels uh, that you get a flavour of the film and a flavour of what's going on in Bond's mind as he feels like he's dying. <laughs>